Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to the month of September of 2022 for you. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will see a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all, you get you guys all set up. So this is going to be a look at uh, the month of September of 2022 for you, Aries. This, of course, is going to be incorporating or using true sidereal astrology. With that said, we are going to be looking at the chart and the month from the perspective of Aries rising. So if you're not an Aries rising or you are not an Aries rising, say, in true sidereal astrology, the actual placement of the planets and the houses that we're talking about here are not going to be accurate for you. But that doesn't mean that this does not can resonate for you. That does not mean that this can't resonate for you. Yeah. Um, and if you've never been uh, exposed to or true sidereal astrology, you don't know what true sidereal astrology is or you've never seen your chart from the point of view of true sidereal astrology, you can either check out masteringthezodiac.com where they do have a chart calculator that uses the exact same system I'm using here to draw up your chart. Or you could simply just shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you your chart for free. Now, if you would like a chart interpretation, if you would like to have a session with that uh, of that with me, then I will be more than happy to do that. I will be charging you for that one. But if you just want your chart, I will be more than pleased to provide that to you free of charge. Let's get into this, Aries. Let's look at what your month of September could be for you. What you have here on your chart on your screen is the chart for September of 2022 for an Aries rising. Now, the main thing that I got for you this month, Aries, is all about shifting and adjusting in terms of your realm of um, finances and um, business finances, the way you make money, and maybe even your values. As you can see, your ruling planet of Mars is going is moving through your second house in the constellation of Taurus. And it's going to be doing this until about late March of 2023 when Mars is going to officially move into the constellation of Gemini. And for you, Aries rising, that would be it moving into your third house. But for you right now, the big message that I was getting for you is there could be a focus in terms of ways, new ways of making money and or of produce or improving your financials, financial status. With that, the first card that's come out here is temperance. Okay. Um, there really could be a desire to improve your home life as well. Um, there was another uh, another feeling that I was getting for you this month is that of children. Maybe some of you really could be in the energy of wanting to have children or at least creating a space in which you can support or build a family. Okay. There is definitely a, a, a kind of a mature energy coming through in terms of that. Um, a phrase that I channeled while I was looking into your energy for the month is uh, playtime is over, it's time to get down to business. Whether that is you are in a mode or in a time period of really wanting to put yourself in a position to be able to provide a space for children, whether you have children or whether you're interested in having children um, or starting a family, I feel like there's a great deal of maturity coming through for you here to improve your financial status, to improve your sense of home life and that it's surround, the, those surrounding environments in order for you to provide for and support a family, to grow a family or start a family. Now, it doesn't have to be like this. Um, you don't have to really be wanting to have children for you to resonate with this or wanting to start a family for you to resonate this with this. But as Mars is moving through your the uh, moving through Taurus, which would be for you in through your second house, as you can see here. There is a feeling of wanting to get your finances in order, wanting to improve your financial status. And the first card that's come out for you here in terms of the tarot is temperance, which is kind of corroborating that for me. Now, temperance is major arcana. So this is a higher spiritual situation. It does feel like, it seems like there is a, a drive for you to improve your situation or bring greater balance into your life monetarily or financially. I feel like on a soul level, Aries, there, this 
month, you're really focused on bringing greater balance so into your finances and personal finances. So um, I feel like maybe if you've been less than um, observant or maybe less than disciplined when it comes to your finances, I feel like that's there is a strong level of influence for you here in terms of wanting to clear that up or clean that up and wanting to improve on your financial status. All right. Um, now the new moon is, uh, is something that I kind of want to talk about for the collective here. The new moon, the previous full moon right before we got into September was on August 27th. And that was in the constellation of Leo. Again, this is in terms of true sidereal astrology, you guys. And so during that new moon in Leo, uh, which did happen in your fifth house, um, as you can see here, of course, this is in terms of what you see on the chart right now is um, September 1st, but I can animate this for you to go back. So let's go back just to show you this here. I also kind of want to turn down this music. There we go. Okay, that's better. So let's animate this um, to show you what was going on on the 27th of August, which was around right now here yes august 27th as you can see you have the new moon which is a conjunction between the sun and the moon here that did happen in your fifth house in the constellation of leo i really do feel like this new moon could have been a time period where you got reconnected with yourself, where you recentered yourself. I'm definitely feeling energies here with this temperance energy. I'm feeling energies of you connecting with yourself and being real with yourself about the nature of your reality, where it is you find yourself here and feelings of wanting to improve on your life or do better for yourself. Okay. Now moving forward, Let's go, let's move forward here. Um, as you can see, the sun is transiting through your fifth house, which is bringing energies, a lot of these energies of the child or children coming through for you, whether it is you are wanting to have children or this could just be connecting you with your inner child. And that's where I feel like a sense of wanting to do better for yourself is coming through here because there is a connection or a feelings of a connection with your inner child. And maybe this is connecting you back Back to your childhood in terms of ways that you didn't have the best childhood and wanting to improve on that for yourself, wanting to, uh, or feelings of reparenting yourself or wanting to nurture your inner child and to have be a better life for yourself here as the sun is transiting through your fifth house. Now, as we continue here, let's move forward to the full moon which is around the 9th and 10th of September. The sun is still in your um, fifth house. Now the moon is in your 11th house of Aquarius, okay, in the constellation of Aquarius. And I feel like this is where time is going to have you bringing these changes that you desire to your life out into the physical, okay? Ooh, you might be able to hear some thunder there. There are some thunderstorms going on in the background, okay? Let me reconnect with my notes here. Uh, the new moon did happen in Leo, right? Like we said, um, and this could have been that time when the reset button was pushed and that moment when you got serious about making those big changes in your life and in your financial landscape. I feel like by the time we get to the full moon here, you're really going to be taking action or at least a direct understanding of how you can move forward, actions that you can take to bring this financial stability and security, greater financial and stability and security into your life life okay let's see what can, messages can we get for Le aries here for the month of september in terms of the new moon yeah i'm sorry the full moon yeah a change in your landscape a change in your identity a change in your focus is definitely something that i see coming through for you here aries in this uh, by the time we reach the full moon but this also could be something that you're experiencing uh leading up to it i feel like the the new moon that happened back in august definitely kicked this energy off for you and by the time you reach the full moon i feel like there's definitely going to be at least either a strong understanding of how you can move forward or this change in your sense of self, this change in identity, this new inspiration to start a new project or um, start a new path really will have set in for you 
you by this time. And you'll really be able to start to make those changes that you seek in order to improve your financial status, in order to improve your financial life or just the beauty of your life, what it is that you value. I feel like this is definitely a time period where you're connected with yourself in greater ways so that you can improve the quality of your life. That really is the big message for you in the month of September, Aries. Going through the process of going after what it is you truly want and changing your quality of life. All right, let's see what else we've got for you here. Yeah, look at this. The next thing that's come out for you here, Aries, is the Ten of Wands reversed. Okay, finally releasing some of the burdens, maybe even some of the habits that you have um, have had over your life up until this point that have kind of kept you in a place where you really weren't uh, really weren't experiencing or manifesting what it is you truly want in your life. Now, with that said, though, especially with this page of wands energy, you could have gone through a really big change in your personal landscape, um, a change in a desire, a change in desire, what, what it is you desire. You know, you may not have necessarily really felt like you even wanted those kinds kinds of things or want the same things or want the things that you want now. Um, that's where this level of maturity also is coming through for you here. I really do feel like Aries, you're going through a moment where you are kind of leveling up, you know, becoming, becoming more of an adult, but that doesn't mean that you're losing your sense of your inner child because with, with the moon, I'm sorry, not the moon with the sun transiting through your fifth house this month, as you can see here, this is of course a snapshot of the full moon time period for you with the sun transiting through your fifth house, which is the house of your inner child and or children. It's also the house of self, personal self-expression. But I feel like you still have a very intrinsic connection. It's very easy for you to feel and or experience that connection with your inner child. And that connection with your inner child, which also could be represented by the page of wands here for you, that connection with your inner child can really help you move forward. I really feel like, and this is actually something that I also uh, channeled for you here. Let me see, where is that in my notes? Um, there was something that, that there was a feeling here of being able to draw on that connection with your inner child, which can help you not only understand how it is you want to improve your quality of life, but give you some real beautiful, really beautiful, creative ways to expand on this or to pursue this. So even though there is a level of feeling kind of like a, um, a bit of a greater maturity here for you, that doesn't mean that you have to completely sense, lose your sense of wonder or lose your sense of excitement or lose your sense of creativity. Allow the sun moving through your fifth house at this time to really accentuate or illuminate or shine a light in ways that your inner child, your sense of wonder, your sense of excitement, your sense of playfulness could be facilitating this brand new chapter in terms of your, the quality of your life. Yeah, your, your, the quality of your finances, um, your, your quality of life, really. Uh, that's a big focus for you right now in the month of September. Improve Improving your quality of life. There you go. There's proof of that. More of that. The page of pentacles. But this page of pentacles is actual proof of you being able to get started in this new chapter in your life or for this new progress. Uh, what I'm hearing with the page of pentacles for you, Aries, is uh, breaking ground on this new chapter in your life. Now, the page of pentacles very much is an earth type of energy, but the page of pentacles also represents commitment, right? Even though it's a page, it's a young adult lesson energy the the page of pentacles just like the rest of the pentacles court cards is all about commitment so what i'm feeling with this page of pentacles energy here for you is you are you have access to at the very least you have access to this sense of being able to to break this ground start this new chapter but also stay committed to it so that you can follow through with these energies, okay? And I definitely feel like with this 10 of wands that has come out in reverse for you here, you have been broken free or you are breaking free from the chains, the burdens, 
that have kept you from pursuing this. I'm also feeling with the 10 of wands in reverse here, you are committed or you are feeling determined to release yourself from financial burdens, from financial struggles. And that page of pentacles energy coupled with the exuberance and the excitement of the page of wands definitely gives you the ability to see this through, to follow through with this, to remain, um, to remain committed to these energies. The next card that's come out for you here is the four of pentacles. Okay. What's this four of pentacles for my Aries here? Please spirit. What is the four of pentacles here? Justice. Rest assured Aries that however it is you want to reshape your life, I'm definitely getting finan uh, financial stability with the Four of Pentacles here for you. However it is that you are feeling inspired to go after these energies, Aries, you are absolutely encouraged to do so because it's going to really balance out the scales for you. It's really going to bring in a really beautiful... Uh, sense of balance and structure into your life. You're really going to be setting the record straight for yourself. I really encourage you to tap into this as much as you possibly can, Aries, because this could really be a massive life changer for you at this time. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let me see. Let me get back into my notes here. Oh, that's right. Um, I did want to talk. I, I, I did want to talk a little bit about Mercury retrograde for you. Um, just because Mercury retrograde is a thing that's going to be affecting all of us. Um, but for you specifically, Aries, um, I wanted, I, I did pick up on a little bit of energies of um, caution. Now, a lot of us he always hear that thing, oh no, Mercury retrograde, just be careful. But for you, Aries, I do want to caution you towards being careful. As we're looking at the chart here, you do see right around the time of the full moon, which is around September 9th into September 10th, that is when uh, Mercury is starting his retrograde period. And Mercury is going to be retrograde until October 1st. Now, it's not a really a bad thing. Really, Aries, you could use this time period of Mercury retrograde retrograde to retrain yourself in terms of your finances or terms of keeping in your finances in check. You could really use this time, especially since Mercury is retrograde in one of his home signs of Virgo. Um, you could really use this time to learn new financial practices to help you improve your life, uh, your quality of life moving forward. But the one topic of contention or the one reason that I, the main reason why I really want you to be careful during this Mercury retrograde retrograde season it, or Mercury retrograde period is that Mercury is retrograde from your sixth house into your fifth house. And your sixth house is house of routines and health and wellness also naturally ruled by Virgo. But Aries, pay close attention to what's going on in your life. Do not allow yourself to go into autopilot, okay? Because I do feel like with Mercury retrograde through your sixth house back into your fifth house, this could bring about a propensity towards accidents accidents that could actually leave you in the hospital or leave you in some sort of financial setbacks that um, really are a detriment to how you're trying to improve your finances, okay? So really pay very close attention to your actions, how you react to things and how you are communicating with individuals because you could potentially find yourself in a position to create more financial set setbacks or just more troubles in terms of, you know, how you're trying to, in, in relation to how you're trying to improve, okay? So really do not allow yourself to go into autopilot. Really make sure you're crossing all your T's and dotting, dotting all your I's and keep your heart open, okay? Compassion is really going to be a beautiful thing or a really beneficial thing for you, especially if you find yourself rubbing, elbow, uh, rubbing elbows with each other, with, with certain people or experiencing any sort of friction, uh, breakdowns in communication, make sure to keep an open heart and keep a compassionate energy. All right. Um, don't allow yourself to get overly, I just heard, don't allow yourself to get overly excited. Okay. Let's see. I want to get just a closing message for you, Aries. Stay right there. I will be right back. All right, Aries. We're going to get a closing message for you from the tarot here. I actually do want to change tarot decks. Wow. It just popped right out right here. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to take these cards. 
Five of Cups, the Fool. Yep, Three of Pentacles, excellent. The Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Sun. All right, so closing message for you here, Aries, starts with the Five of Cups, all right? So this is definitely, I, and I definitely feel like this coincided with that new moon that happened on August 27th in Leo. Um, but this was a moment where you really got connected to how you were just not satisfied in your life. That has influenced you, the fool, to take a new leap of faith and really start to build on, focus on building your finances, Three of Pentacles. Also, a strong level, a deeper level of self-mastery. I really feel like you're going to be getting disciplined with yourself over the month of September okay now queen of pentacles here the six of pentacles and the sun for you Aries first of all this is all about being connected to your true worth and that's also feeling like it's connected to this ten of wands in reverse here by you staying connected to what it is you know you are intrinsically truly worthy of regardless as to what you have experienced in your life up until this point regardless as to how you may have seen yourself or be thought of or seen by other people you know for a fact that you are deserving and worthy of so much more. If you com remain committed to that, if you remain committed to uh, bringing in a level of reciprocity into your life and staying committed to honoring your worth and, no and knowing what it is you are truly capable of, capable of and what you are truly worthy of having in your life, you are going to bring so much abundance and so much beautiful opportunity into your life. The question here is, are you going to remain committed to that? Overall energy is the nine of cups. If you truly want to be happy and deserve and, and be receiving of what it is you're deserving of, I highly recommend Aries that you stay committed. Page of pentacles, page of wands to this new creative expression, to this new path into your, in your life. Break this ground, Aries, create this new life for yourself and stay committed because you are worthy you are worthy of having it and you absolutely will be able to achieve it, okay? Excellent, Aries. There you have it. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please stay tuned to the channel because there will be more messages for the sign of Aries, for the whole collective moving forward. And if you are interested in getting a your true sidereal chart, or also if you're interested in getting having a, a session with me to, to break down your true sidereal chart, please don't hesitate to email me. My email address can be found in the description box below. Um, and I will be more than happy to provide you with your chart for free and I would be more than happy to schedule a session for you so that we can break down and talk about your true sidereal chart and I can bring forward any messages and answer any questions for you that really want to come forward for you or you may desire to have answered. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>